Start recording. And we're good to go. Hello and welcome everybody to Glitchy and Phoenix Talk Shit. We've stuck with the title. Yeah, we've kind of stuck with the title. Although today, it's not really us talking shit. It's us basically saying what our favorite things are. Um, we're going to tell you what we like and probably tell you what we don't like as well. Well, yeah, probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. So, why don't we go through, like, categories, like, Real TV. quick, though, I did forget. Mm -hmm. I look like shit right now because something's wrong with my eyes. I don't know. I got something in my eye earlier, at, like, both my eyes at the same fucking time. It scratched my eyeballs or something, and both eyes have been red. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't do any of that. I am just prone to getting injured by existing yeah. Uh, also, a disclaimer, we are not meant for children. No, we're not. Um, I've been trying to add that into the descriptions of our videos here lately. Um, err, err on the side of caution if you're a parent. Yeah. yeah, if you're a parent, watch the video first and then decide whether you want to let little Timmy watch it. <laughs> Why is it always little Timmy? Like, I don't know, it's the first time that came to mind, I don't know. Well, I mean, that's what everybody does. It's always Little Timmy, this, Little Timmy, that, and I'm like, Little Timmy's still down a well. Go ask Lassie. <laughs> Inappropriate conversations. Anyways, things we like. And breaking it down into categories. First category would be... TV? TV! Go for it. Um, so, Go. well, one of my current obsessions is Penny Dreadful. Mm. Which, if you haven't watched it yet, and you have Showtime, or... Or you need to find that shit. Or you wear an eye patch and, you know, travel the seas. Um, you know what I mean. Oh! Um, I was sitting know. there like, what the fuck are you talking about pirates for? I get it now, I'm stupid. I was trying not to I say get it. Word. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Yarrr, you mateys. I mean, no, nobody would obtain anything illegally, We do not right? endorse illegally obtaining entertainment, media, whatever. Back on topic. But if you have Showtime, um, or you acquire it, by other or means. watch it with a, by other means, or you watch it with a friend, or whatever. DVR is a wonderful thing. Yeah, DVR is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Half of the shows that I watch are on DVR right now. I know, um, right? Give Penny oh, Dreadful a neck. try. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. It was like. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> oh, I suddenly got in hyper. The vitamins <laughs> are working. And, yeah. by vit and by vitamins, I actually literally mean vitamins. Vitamins. Yeah. Not <laughs> fucking. I'm not. It's not a euphemism. Women's she vitamins, okay? She means I'm not vitamins. making money, goddammit. Disclaimer. She means vitamins. Disclaimer. Not Disclaimer. Vitamins. <laughs> Precisely. Any fucking ways. Disclaimer. Um, yeah. Disclaimer. I make no money. I was just showing you that I actually take vitamins. Any but, yeah. fucking ways. Um, Penny Dreadful, current obsession. Ava Green is fantastic. She is fucking um, brilliant. I would say she's probably one of the better actresses I've seen in a while. Although, after last week's episode, which Glitchy has not seen yet, I think <gasps> Billy Piper might be overtaking her just a little bit. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. It's going to be great. Of course, oh, mind you, I have to find a time where I'm not A, sleeping, or B, being forced to watch Naruto obsessively because I got my boyfriend hooked on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to try to get back into that shit. Oh, I'm, like, dude, lord, no. I would, not even, I would not even know where to begin. Just and... with episode one, Netflix has it right now. Has all of it. Like, all, all of it? it? All yeah. 9,005 episodes? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's got, like, it's got the early episodes of Naruto, uh, and all the way into the s a separate section for when it becomes Shippuden, plus it's got a few of the movies, as far as I know. Are they all in English? Yes, they are. They Thank have fuck. <laughs> Okay. Oh god, I'm no! Going... No! No! Stop! Wait! I closed out clicked for a second! I'm scared! I'm scared! Okay. Uh, if I start I, puking I gotta... up curly hairs, I'm, I've been possessed! Oh shit! 
<laughs> okay. This, this is the part where I tell our viewers that um, I hate subtitles. Oh, I hate subtitles. I hate it. I don't have the attention span. I haven't, I haven't gotten to say my favorite things yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, it's fine. But subtitles are definitely fucking obnoxious because I sit there and do nothing but read the subtitles and miss the entirety of the fucking show. Exactly. I'm the same way. I can't watch the Stream show. of consciousness, by the way. Hmm? Stream of consciousness, by the way. So you get yeah, viewers. it's very... <laughs> Phew! Um, Spiderweb! But yeah, that's that's our um, that that's my problem with subtitles. I can't pay attention to the action and read what they're saying exactly, at the same time. Exactly. And I usually have to watch them muted if I have subtitles on, because uh, exactly. the the sounds of their voice is distracting. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. And then I get to giggling because they sound funny because <laughs> it's in Japanese and. King Tong something wrong. And... No, don't say that! Naughty! Inappropriate. Yeah. Disclaimer, 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 hammer. I need a hammer that says disclaimer on it. Oh my god. What can I say? Accents are funny. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't give a shit where you're from. If, if you have a certain tone to your voice and you have an accent, I'm gonna laugh. Probably. Yeah. Or I'm gonna go, ooh, baby, talk more. I don't know what Hell, you did, but talk more. <laughs> you you've laughed at mine a couple of times when it comes out. I try not to let the southern accent come out, but sometimes it happens. No, it happens. It happens. Now, as for things that Glitchy likes, I like dick. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to be a fan of that. <laughs> yes, I like. Well, TV show in regards to TV shows. One of the thing, one of the shows that I do like is Penny Dreadful. Eva Green's fucking fantastic, but so is the rest of the cast. They really make the show crazy and fucking insane. But another show that I like, which I'm pissed about, that's been canceled, is Hannibal and yeah, Constantine. I, like that one too. I was obsessed with Constantine, as was my co-host, who is now above me. But Constantine has been canceled, and now we just sit there. Miserable and unloved because NBC and ABC and CBC or whatever the fuck else they are are a bunch of douche canoes. And I'm actually going to say this. NBC apparently does not want me to enjoy any of their shows. Exactly. Because they've canceled anything that's not a dumbass sitcom or exactly. weird ass comedy or dateline. Or reality show. Or that. Well, actually... This actually brings up an interesting point. I've recently started watching America's Got Talent. Oh. Mm -hmm. With their newest season. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, I actually kind of like it. Yeah, I watched a few episodes here and there, and I find it to be okay. I, I like it a lot better. I tried watching um, American Idol when it first started. Fuck me. And I tried, tried watching that So You Think You Can Dance, including <laughs> the episode where the black girl's tit fell out. Which was funny. What? Um, yeah. Wait, is that so you think kind of... you can dance? Yeah, so you think you can dance. She was doing this, like, break dancing thing. Oh, and God. she was wearing this really baggy, like, dark gray shirt. Right. And she, was it a, was it did... a Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction? Or... Well, she did this, like, twirl thing. And I guess her shirt went down. And next thing the audience knows, her tits was hanging out. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't notice it for like two seconds until oh. one of the judges was like, um... Uh, your, your titmus is, is exposed. Yeah, and then she was embarrassed, but I was laughing because it was funny. Mm. <laughs> ah, one of my all-time favorite TV shows is... And there went my brain. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Shit! All-time favorite TV show? Come on. <laughs> Oh you can my do god, this. um, <laughs> Sherlock, honestly, uh, the BBC version of Sherlock, I quite liked it. You know, I haven't watched it. You I should. got annoyed, I got annoyed, because mm. from what I was hearing from people that watched it, the seasons are really short and they take a while. They are to quite literally out. only three episodes each. So I was there's trying nine, to wait. I'm fairly sure there's only nine episodes out, actually. So, so I was trying to wait seasons. till like... Yeah, I was trying to wait till like more show episodes good came luck, out. Cause... Honestly, good. Oh no, all time favorite show, Doctor Who. Gotta be Doctor Who. Be See, I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I well, 
tried. I can, okay. I've tried multiple times. Who, um, which doctor did you start with? Uh, I've watched episodes across multiple. Well, there you go. You're not watching it in succession. Well, and it's because... My eyes are sandpaper. And it's because I would flip through to BBC America, mm-hmm. and I would watch a couple episodes, and and they were hit or miss. Some were good, some were not. Yeah. And and they would show them in succession, and then I would go on about my business, and then you know a couple of days later I'd watch like you know a couple more, but it'd be a completely different doctor because it was <laughs> from another season, and it was just like you know. Well, my very it's first just doctor. Too complicated. Yeah. My very first Doctor was the Eighth Doctor, played by Paul McGon, and that was from the Doctor Who TV movie. Well, technically, my first was the Seventh Doctor, who then, it, who in the beginning of the movie became the Eighth Doctor, but that's a whole fucking clusterfuck of explanations that I don't feel like going into now. But can I just can I just say the newest Doctor creeps me out? <gasps> His eyes are always wet. I feel like he has an unmarked white band somewhere, <sighs> and he's offering children candy. Speculation, speculation, we have no proof. Speculation, yeah, we had, speculation. We, Don't sue we, us, BBC, or, or Capaldi. Yeah, I, I, it just, it, he, he creeps me out. Honestly, he, he really does creep me out. He freaks me out, and I have yet to, yet to have an ep- episode or one of those moments where I sit there and I go, there's my doctor. I had that moment with Eccleston. I had that moment with David Tennant on multiple occasions. I think there was maybe one or two times where I was okay with Matt Smith. But other than that, not really. And just Peter Capaldi. Peter Capaldi creeps me out, honestly. And he's... I just don't like him. Now, if you want to talk about other BBC shows that I really enjoyed, Mm -hmm. BBC's version of Merlin. Now, this comes with a disclaimer. (laughs) The first, I think there's four seasons total. Mm -hmm. So the first three seasons, Mm -hmm. perfect. The last season, Mm -hmm. it was like the writers had stand-ins and said, y'all go nuts. (laughs) Because <laughs> mm. it was a complete and total shit fest. It, it was really was. Bad. It was. I absolutely loved the way they did it, though, as far as, like, the way the series was created. And I loved the cast. Um, mm. But they kind of butchered it at the end. They did. Sad. Honestly, I, f- I, I agree. I feel like that they, they really did butcher it at the end. Also, for those of you watching at home, I'm sorry. Like I said, my eye has been bothering me, and it, you're going to see me like continuously mess with it and you're gonna see a whole lot of inflamed inner eye skin area shit and I'm sorry and it's made to look even worse because I am extremely pale right now you know I was just thinking about this what? we may have to make this a multiple part video uh, yeah well we're only we, at 13 minutes because we have a lot of favorite things we do. and this is gonna take a while ah <laughs> ta- d- favorite book Oh, God, that's a hard one. I know, um, isn't it? Favorite book or favorite, I top would, three favorite books. I would say as far as series go, mm. one of my most recent favorites would have to be the um, House of Night series, oh. which oh, yes. just ended and I actually have not finished the series. Wait, um, the series is done outright? Yeah, it's completely oh, and totally done. Totally I think. Shit! It's completely done. I think the last book came out in 2014, actually. Oh, in December. Oh, my God. <gasps> Speaking of new books, I found out one of my favorite authors has a new book out. I'm pissed. I didn't know about it. Oh? Which yeah. one? Uh, her name's... Just like that. Just like that. I did it. I just did it. Jennifer. Jennifer? I literally... Um, we had to go to the bookstore... Or what? Uh-huh. No, we didn't have to go to the bookstore. We had to go t- to the car wash where there's a bookstore. And I literally just took millions of pictures of all the books I wanted. Yeah, I need to go to our local Hastings mm-hmm. and walk around the book section. Because it's been so long since I've been in a library or in a bookstore that I've forgotten, like, 
what what's even out there anymore. There's um, a lot of new stuff out. Um, I really liked the Hunger Games when it was new. I um, found out that uh, Lilith, Lily St. Crow, her Strange Angel series, she fucking uh-huh. put two new books out, and I didn't even know. Oh, wow. I've never heard of that series. Oh, that dude, it's really, it's, 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 ah, it's teen fiction, but it's really damn good. Okay, so here, here's a, um. Jenny Frost! Here's, uh-huh. here's a slight tangent off the book conversation. Mm. Why is it that every bit of, um, LGBT-oriented romance that's not lesbian-based <laughs> is terrible? I'm gonna leave that shit alone, because I have shit to say, and it will not be nice. Because I am started... What am I censoring myself for? I have, yeah, is... I have read plenty of guy on guy novels and er- supposed erotica, and it is fucking garbage. The fucking guy on guy porn is usually it's shit. So... The lesbian porn is so fucking fake, it makes me want to throw up instead of flick my bean. Guy on guy books and erotica is, po- is so fucking terrible. I. It's oh, literally, it, literally, it's terrible. It's terrible. And it's like these people don't give a fuck. These people if being I, the authors. If I had the ability to create an entire story without, like, losing inspiration or forgetting what the fuck I was doing <laughs> in, in the middle, the was. or what the plot was going to be, I would write one, because I know I would be able to write way better than these fucking idiots. Oh, I know. I know. Because it's so bad. Like, why would you call someone's dick a spooge cannon? Like, really? I'm sorry, where the fuck did you read that shit? Because... I don't fucking remember. It was I one don't of the... condone burning books, but I might in regards to that shit. I'm telling you, I have read some, like, weird-ass shit. That's ignorant. <laughs> That's not sexy in any... Spooge cannon? <laughs> fuck stick, pike staff, schlong, yeah. you know... I won't. I won't stand for it being called a sausage or a rot or, or kibasa because that's just fucking weird. And it makes me think of this fucking movie I saw a long time ago called Call Girl Number Six, where it was weird. Okay, I have to say, every time somebody says they're you know doing something with sausage, it makes me laugh because I think of that. <laughs> but I can't help it. Uh, I'm I'm secretly like a twelve year old trapped in a twenty one year old's body. Ah, uh, right. what can I say? What was uh, the conversation Boneyards and I were having earlier? Again, Boneyards is my boyfriend. Um, we were talking about the most ridiculous shit earlier. Something... <gasps> I remember what it was now. This is where it gets really fucking inappropriate and descriptive, people, so you might want to cover your ears if you don't want to be tainted for life. Although, well, if you're watching us, it's probably too late. Mature audience, mature guidance suggested. Mature guide, mature audiences only. Rated NC seventeen, starting now. Okay, so you we were talking about advised. exactly heavily advised. We were talking about zombies, and then for some fucking reason, my happy little ass decided to say something along the lines of, "What do you think would happen, or do you think it's possible?" The conversation went as I'm saying it is exactly how it went. What do you think would happen, or is it possible if a person's penis was the only thing they got zombified, not the rest of them? Oh, girl, no. Oh, boy, yes. Mm. Girl. And Boneyard started laughing his ass off, and he's like, Well, you know, it kind of makes sense since my dick constantly wants to go down your throat. And <laughs> this was our conversation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let that, that reminds me. Sink in. One of one of the most disturbing guy on guy oriented like mm. novels that I read mm. was about zombies that could think of nothing but sex. It was really weird. It was fucking bizarre. What? 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 It was like it was like sex zombies from Mars or something. <laughs> to be continued in video number two, we will sign off right here. Good night, folks, and think about the shit we just said. Mental images abound. Bye. Subscribe. Good damn it.